All right, welcome to Homecoming Week, Coach. We're five and zero headed in. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back and let's talk about last week, though, because that Inlet Grove District game, a lot of crazy circumstances leading into that game, but we pick up a big win. Let's talk about that first. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, first off, you know, prayers go out to everybody affected by the hurricane and the storm, and you know, we just pray that everybody is is doing better and. And, you know, the people that, you know, don't have that great a circumstance right now, we're praying for them. Hopefully God can put their hand on them and, and, and take care of stuff there. But, you know, our game got moved from a Thursday to Monday this week, homecoming week. And, you know, we're playing two games in, in five days, which is always a tricky one, especially being a district game at their place. Um, but, yeah, it was, um, it was a weird, weird thing playing on a Monday night, but it was a fun game. Yeah, it was very physical. Um, and it was, it was definitely something that we knew we were going to have our hands full and it was a good game. So we got to start, I think, with a, a unit that we don't give a lot of attention to, that's special teams. Special teams had a great game, uh, had an onside kick to start the game. Mm -hmm. Kingston Deloche knocks in a 47 yard field goal. Uh, Juan Rodriguez had a great punt that gets down on the one. Talk about your special teams unit and what they did this week. Yeah, it was just great to, you know, we, we practice all three phases of the game. We take a lot of time. We look at special teams, you know, it's, it's a third of the game. So we knew um we knew going into it what we had what we didn't have and our kickers have worked their tails off all summer they were at camps and just kind of traveling the country just you know getting better um, so when it came down to you know the yard that we were at um, it was a little bit more than you know his range that we had on paper but you know i trust the kid and and he put it right through you know it was a great snap by corbin great hold by Juan, and a great kick and so what does that do for the team when you know now that you've got a kicker who you can trust from, mm -hmm. from 40 out? As we head into district play and in playoffs, what does that do for the team? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it shores up some points. You know, now now we get inside, you know, our red zone area. Um, we're not thinking about going for it on fourth. We got the option of kicking a field goal and walking away with at least some points. So uh, it just adds another dynamic to the game. It's just someone, um, again, another young sophomore that's just going to step up and rise to the occasion of, of getting us in a place to win. So moving now to the, the offensive side of the ball, we scored 17 points. Mm -hmm. Wasn't our typical offensive performance. Uh, it's three nothing at halftime. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, we, um, you know, we had, there was a lot of stuff that we just weren't clicking on. And we had a couple of calls where, you know, we, we broke some big plays and they got called back on us. And, and you know, you kind of take that for what it is. And, you know, so after halftime, we kind of got ourselves revoked. I think that, you know, Kingston's 47 yard field goal really amped everybody up and got us kind of out of a slump because it was kind of a stalemate game. Um, and then also, too, we hadn't played in 16 days, um, actually 17 days. So not being able to play a full football game or against an opponent for 17 days, I think we were a little rusty coming out. Um, you know, you don't ever want to use that as an excuse, but it did take us a little while to kind of get the cobwebs going. Um, second half came around and we did what we've been waiting to see from the offensive line and from um, our running back, you know, room. Um, I think, you know, Tristan ended the night with over 130 yards of rushing. Um, so it was it was just a great night for the offensive line and running backs. Joe Daly had a couple big scampers and a, for no rushing TD as well. So, um, you know, normally we get it done through the air, but we were able to lean on the offensive line and running backs and get that get a gun. Yeah, I mean, I think it was great to see Tristan healthy. You know, we've been waiting for that all year, kind of yeah. a breakout game, and, and he really did have a great game. Um, now, we kind of buried the lead, the defense once again. Third mm -hmm. shot out of the season. Um, Inlet was talented, had a lot yeah. of athletic kids, a lot of fast kids, and the defense just continued to do what they do. Yeah, just doing what we've preached to them, being sound in all the little things, taking pride in the little things, um, being great tacklers, being able to understand what's going on, and just really focusing on what the game plan says. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with where our defense is right now. A lot of young guys are really stepping up in, in some vital roles. Um, you know, Levi Champion's playing at an amazing level right now, and the secondary is doing a great job of, of keeping things under wrap. And D line is just selling out. You know, so. Young defense, but led by a really good group of um, seniors in there. But yeah, another pitch, you know, pitched another shutout, and that's always something you want to see. That's always a, an interesting challenge because you've got all of the fanfare going on throughout yeah. the whole week, and kids are in costumes. And mm -hmm. how do you keep the guys dialed in for a game like that? Yeah, we know, you know, we understand, you know, homecoming's fun, right? We want the kids to have fun. We, you know, we appreciate what it, what the school puts on, um, but you know. I'm old school in the sense that, you know, homecoming is about Friday night football and we're really excited. And that's what we tell our guys at the end of the week, 
everybody comes out on homecoming night. You know, we're, fans are going to be packed in there. Um, we got alumni coming back. You know, band's going to be playing, and and it's just going to be a really great atmosphere. So we tell them that's what we're working for. Is um, we want to put on a big show for our fans when they come on Friday night. Homecoming's a big week, but then you go right into that district championship game the next week. Yeah, so you know we kind of use this as that week of hey, we're going to get kind of back to basics again. Um, really work on our fundamentals. And again, not overloading the mind because there is so much stuff going on. So it's, you know, very simplified game plan. Um, and then, like I said, we got districts, you know, coming up again. You know, we win against Somerset Ch um, Canyons. We're district champs. So it's a big week. It's here at home um, for the blackout. So I think that gives us the added fuel to really dial in this week and to kind of get any errors that we need to get out. Um, and then really working towards, you know, getting to the next week. But all focus right now is on Friday night and getting another win in the win column and, and really just putting on a big show for our fans. So guys, we've got three home games in a row starting this week with homecoming. We're excited to have you guys come out. 6.30 it starts. We've got the halftime festivities. We've got after the game, the homecoming court. So it's gonna be a great night for TKA. Yeah, come out red, white, and blue, and come honor some lines.